Finish in the low single. It's important the way that you that be patient down there when you shoot. When we get to his ankle and we're in this position, make sure that we're not switching over to our double leg too soon. All right, I see, I see some people, they're reaching to this leg with both their hands. They can, that's, they're going to be off balance. You guys are going to be off balance here, and guys can tip you over to your side. That's why it's important to have this hand here. Also, if we reach over to a double leg, guys can pull us up and get their hips back. <coughs> and we don't want that to happen. So we got to make sure that we're using our head and driving them over top and making them fall at least a little bit before we circle across for our double leg. I wrestled this guy, I wrestled this guy uh, in Kresnyarsk at this tournament called the Oregon. Kresnyarsk is in Russia. It's real far away. It takes a long time to get there. I wrestled this guy named Anzor Boltekaev. He's from Chechnya in Russia. And he's got a big, uh, long red beard and red hair. And he, he walks around with his head up real high and his shoulders up real big. And he doesn't kind of walk slow. And he doesn't really like look at you. And he, he just is kind of like, uh, thinks probably thinks he's a man. I don't know. Seems like he's a lot of, a lot of the guys over are a bunch of real nice people. And he seems like he's got a head full of air, you know? And I wrestled him at that tournament, and uh, I shot the low single, I got to his leg, and I exchanged over to the double too quickly, so I shot the low single, I exchanged over to here too fast, and he was able to get his hips back, and I uh, didn't score the points, and those points were real critical in that match. So then I had to work on uh, finishing the low single a bit better. So if we ever wrestle again, I'll be able to finish on him. And I got to, just like you guys have to make sure, I have to make sure that I'm using my neck to drive this guy over top and then circling across. So as they're falling down, we're circling across and scoring. All right, so the setup though, yeah. I lost. Three to two, I think, three to two. Yeah. I never wrestled Volchkaev either. No, you never got another chance, have you? Yeah, I never. He did the flip then, didn't he? He did a flip yeah, against you. Yeah, back flip too. Did a back flip. Uh, what's up? It was cold. But it was warm in the arena. It was fun. He did a back flip. I had his leg in a single leg, and he back flipped out of it. It was pretty crazy. Did he land it? No, he like, I don't know, he didn't really land it, but he, yeah, just got out of the position. Um, so, this next setup that we're going to use, next setup that we're going to use is going to come off of uh, placing our hand on our opponent's head. So we're going to take our lead leg hand, so I, right leg, right leg hand, I'm going to post it on my opponent's head, he's going to grab it, other hand. As he grabs it, I roll my wrist to the ground and lower my level. Okay, and a, the, your partner is going to hold on to your hand. So that's what they're going to do in a match. Your partner's going to hold on to your hand. I right, grab the forehead, roll my wrist down. As I roll my wrist down, I take my free hand to his wrist. I grab it and pull it off. And now I penetrate to our low single. And then finish. All right. Guys out in front, we're wrestling, post my hand on his head, roll it off as I lower my level, penetrate to this guy's leg, so I go across my double. This, this, this setup, uh, it could work well by itself, but a lot of times I'll use it uh, right after a hand fight. So let's say we're in this collar type position, I think. I come to my collar tie, I snap them off, post my head down to my shot. All right? Any questions? Hand rolled across, free hand grabs, low single. Let's do it, one, two.